shopping at nail sugar it's the first order i placed with these and um yes yeah, so i spent about 30 pound on this but i've not got my tripod because it's upstairs and i've done my back in today and i can't i can't keep going up and down so i thought rather than wait because it's too exciting to get sugar and not open it um is uh i'll do just, just do wobbly hand time so i've already um tipped them out they just came in a little envelope uh, and the glitters are wrapped in tissue and thank you very much i've got a little freebie lollipop oh it's a heart <laughs> thanks nail sugar that's that right i've got some foils uh, as you can see from my mug i like uh, roses and uh I ain't got any foil that's got clear, clear backs on. Um, so when I stick them on, I'll not show all that background. It's just the roses themselves. So, yes, couldn't wait for that one. Yeah, really pretty, like a peachy, peachy pink colour. Uh, another one that has got a bit of a background on it. It's like. Uh, Spotty, like spotty backgrounds. I like old English roses. So I think that's going to look gorgeous. Uh, oh, and this, lovely. Uh, it looks like a marble. Oh, I've been trying to paint marble effect, honestly. We have to have all right brushes and stuff. I've never seen anything like it. Um, yeah, but I think that's going to look super nice. Pick out the bit that you like. I like that bit there. Yeah, so that's lovely. I can't tell you how much they are at a minute because it's on email on my phone. Uh, and one more, which is clear background. And uh, so, yeah, interesting to try that. That's that. Right, now, I've also, in the sort of different things, get off my hand, stuck, stuck on static. I'm unravelling, that's it. <laughs> uh, this is autumn leaves. Oh, really pretty. I just repainted my nails last night. I was hoping they would come today because while I'm sat with my ibuprofen and uh, paracetamol, I shall have a faff. I'm all right while I'm sat. It's standing up walking about. It makes me look about 95. But there's some right sparkle on these. These are lovely. Oh, yeah, that's the order of the day today, autumn leaves, and then these were bigger packs, and uh, I've already taken them out of the bag because you have a job getting them out of this tiny bag, and I wanted bigger pots in these, I think this for two ninety five. this is a bright red, ruby, hello ruby, this one, we can see the colour more on the side of the, side of the pot. Um, lavender lights. These are small glitters. Yeah, there's plenty in there. And this, which I'll use a lot of, uh, diamond dust. I was thinking when I bought this sort of uh, ice snow type thing. So I bought these glitters. I've got this one, which is called Sugar Shot, which is a bigger glitter. And it's very similar to the one I've been using. But there's a little bit more blue. A little bit more blue in that one. So that's Sugar Shot. And then Mermaid Tails for that sort of... Um, glistening, slightly blue tinge to put on things. So I might have dab little bits of that on. And then the go on again, this is crushed opal. Yeah, 
Uh, with the leaves, I thought about these, which is um, Fall Festival. So it's bronzes, reds, copper, gold. I think it's probably the best way to describe it. And this, oh, I love this colour, copper. Copper pop. Wow. Beautiful. Um, but I got this silver rock star. I want to try and do a couple of Christmas designs. Graphite. And slightly darker. I like to be in a magpie, I love anything that sparkles. Um, I love these greens, this is Lucky Charm. So this is the tiny light dust glitter that's got um, all manner of cool colours in. And emerald. Poor oh, smack in the face green, isn't it? Hmm. Oh, lovely. Right, I've decided out of all these things that I've just unpackaged, I can't, well, I couldn't wait to use this, which you can see I have used. Um, I didn't take the nails off that I've done completely. I just took the colour down. Um, and this was last night. I, I just couldn't wait. I wanted to go to bed, but I couldn't use my drill or anything to fill her in bed. So... I just did these um, and I thought I'll show you how I did them. Uh, I've got these, which you can't resist, these little leaves and what I've done is took the sticker off the packet um, where applicable, whereas this didn't have anything on so I've put nail sugar on there and then the labels off the packets I've stuck on the bottom so if I do use a lot of anything I'm going to know where I bought it. Uh, I'll be able to uh, get them back. Uh, so I've decided I'm going to use these and this one. I used this foil festival because it's got that little bit of red in it. Well, sort of maroony colour in it. So uh, there's a lot of the sort of fine glitter in it and the thicker, bigger glitter. So gives you quite good coverage but I'll show you what I did I'm, I'm learning through this um, you see on the middle na nail between the leaves and uh, that one on that one and between the middle leaves there you can see it's more or less picked up more of the little fine bits of glitter Whereas on this one, it's kept a lot of the bigger glitter. Uh, two different ways I did this. This one was going into the cured base coat. So it was sticking to the inhibition layer. And what I was doing was using a brush to pat it down onto the, the layer. Um, and then I put it back into cure again so that it, under there, any of the inhibition layer would have cured that wasn't getting oxygen. Then I brushed them off, and that was the result. I've got the tiny bits. So it was quite smooth. So what I did then was, I put the base coat on, and before curing, I sprinkled the glitter on, and then did the same process. A little sponge would probably do it better, but I was patting it down like that before I cured it at all. Uh, and if you do use any foils at all, be careful of heat spike because uh, it gets me after about seven seconds. But you might want to put your fingers in and back out um, and then put them in again and back out again like that. So, um, yeah, I'll show you both ways that I did it on some tips. Uh, and then I also encapsulated these, but I encapsulated them with base gel because I didn't want to redo the acrylic. 
but it's made it really, really fat because before I decided what I was going to do, I'd got two coats of the colour and then a top coat. Uh, and that's at the point when I went to bed. And then this morning, I've uh, just done a light roughing up of that top coat and then I've started again. So then there's two coats of base coat again on top to um, get those leaves in. So it's all got a bit fat. So I'm just going to take that down. Uh, I'm more okay with the others. That one's a little bit fatter, but it's not thick near the cuticle, so I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm alright with it. But this is just humongous there. So I'll take that down and do it again. Uh, and then I decided to just paint uh, a line for glitter on the ends. Yeah, so. Love a little sparkle, me. Love it. So, might redo both of those. Yeah, back in a sec. Right, I've got my drill bit out. I've got my mask on if I sound a bit muffled. I might do a voiceover uh, if I sound a bit muffled. Um, in fact, I probably will because you'll not hear me on the noise of this drill. So I'm going to take it down with this and uh, then I'll start to reapply. So, mask on. Glasses on, I look the right character. drill is that if you go too near the end and it kind of goes over to end you get kicked back so I live and learn uh, I'm just going to give it a bit closer I don't go too close yet I'm not used to it not bothered about the colour coming off I just wanted to get rid of the stuff of that thickness
what a lack of in technique and making it through with perseverance. <laughs> That's better. That's better. Probably could have gone a bit further with that drill, but maybe next time I'll uh, run. which is looking a bit worse for wear but it does job and uh, a cup of tea if it's not full of acrylic so I'm using um, something where is it Right. I could have been soaking that off because I actually used to soak off polish. So um, I could take it right back down to the um, nail and nails one that I used, the pink that I used. But yeah, it, it's just giving me added strength, isn't it? So and it don't matter when I'm not going to see it, I'm leaving it because I want to get to that um, two or three a week. Um, outgrown and uh, we'll do an infill then so is that the one or uh, yeah that's the one oh glitter start right wipe down bits off So, I'll flatter there and there, so it's not going to look like a great big hump and then that's still giving me strength so that's good, but it's not too thick on the end still I don't think anyway. I've just gone under there with a little drill bit because I've got some glitter stuck under it. That's the thing is when we go on the drill make sure that we've not got anything um, under there or whatever before we cure it so just get my lamp out if i sound a bit nervous doing it it's because i'm a bit nervous doing it <laughs> um right first i've got that ready i'm going to get a few of these on there oh uh, i'm going to get a lot of these on there Get back in. Get back in. God, I'm so clumsy thinking. God, in G clumsy. Right, that's that. Not going to be precious about one or two. But at least I can see them all now, can't I? Um, so I'm going to use tweezers somewhere. The thing about these is, if I was going to have a thin layer of gel, and then put these on and then put more clear acrogel on top or build the gel or whatever. 
it wouldn't matter that they were flat but because I'm only wanting to put base gel on the top what I was doing is and it really worked a lot better was picking it up like that and bending it in half and then when I put it on my nail it sat a lot better well, it did when it was sticky, the nail. Get on. There, so it sat a lot better on it, so I didn't need to make it quite so thick. And the problem with this thumb is that I forgot with one or two of them, and then they were sticking up. So it kept getting thicker and thicker. So I'll do one at a time. So I don't smudge it. I'm going to try and put them onto this. So I'm just going to do one coat thin coat just to get the colour back again very thin cure that right took out the lamp but I'm going to give it a very thin coat of this foundation because to touch that it would have a sticky layer but I don't think it's going to be strong enough to hold those um, little leaves on so I'm going to kind of embed them into a base coat but instead of curing it like I did last time I'm going to just put them straight onto that as it is So, that's it, sitting in there nicely. Ooh. Fiddly though. Oh yeah, got your mate. Going in different directions. See if I can find one that's a bit bluey. Squish. Nice. Uh, that one's been bent. Where's that? Yep. And oh well. I'll cure that. Right, so that's got the colour on, then the base coat, uncured, stuck them on and then cured it. So I'm going to put another base coat. The reason for not going for straight to top coat is it's a no wipe top coat. So at least doing this. I can put the next coat straight on without having to wipe it or rough it up or anything. I want it thin but covering. I think it settled then a bit into where I've um, where my nails been growing out a bit. Was that one under that leaf? Yeah. So that's that. Make sure there's no glitter on that. Uh, 
And I know you shouldn't use your fingers, but it's only my finger now. What's that? Okay, back in. Right, so it's had uh, two coats of base coat, and I'm now going to do a top coat, and then we'll call it done. Unless there's a lot sticking out, in which case I'm going to have to shave it off a bit. See a tiny little bit. But other than that, I don't think that's bad. Right, final uh, cure on that. It's a lot thinner here near the cuticle. And it was like a great big step. So at least I've thinned out there, and even though the nail's quite thick, but should be strong. Look, holographic leaves. Ooh, super pretty. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort out this other thumb uh, off camera. You don't want to see two of them. And then I'll find some tips. And we'll have a look at what we did with uh, these. I've just ended up sanding that. I've got to put my top coat on them. Oh. Yeah. Right, I've put two tips on there. They are uh, out of the kiss French nails I used to stick on from after, basically. Which I think look quite nice. If that's what you want to do, I think they look quite nice. But I'd recommend buying the quick glue rather than using the glue that comes in them. But I thought I'll use these because with them having the white, uh, you'll be able to see the coverage, uh, actually, of these colours. So I've changed it up a bit because we've seen these. But I'm going to do a similar thing with stripe down the middle with the glitter at the background and a couple of leaves on uh, and then a full coverage. Or shall I do a stripe around the end? I'll do an artificial fringe with them. Right, we'll do that. Um, so I'm going to start with, I've not roughed them up because they don't have to live forever, do they? Uh, I'm just going to start with the base coat and I've gone back to Urban Graffiti one. Um, just to change it up a bit, basically. Um, and I'm going to give them a base coat first. Ever so thin. Thin, 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 thin. That's that one. And the same brush load will do this one. Blend it over. So, I'm more or less putting it on and taking it off again. Sake. Right, I've got these two back out of the lamp. They've just had the very, very, very thin base coat layer. Um, this is the Urban Graffiti one again. And I'm going to change the colourways to what I did before. So I'm going to try for this lot on navy. This is the, it's got a slight sparkle in its own right anyway. So I'm going to see. So full cover. Um, I'm only going to do it thin because there's quite a lot of, what they call it, pigmentation in this one. Um, so the darker colours take longer to cure. So apparently it's far better to do a few thin coats than one really, really thick coat because uh, they might not be cured underneath. Apparently. I know I might have argued. I've been watching Joe's Nails Company and uh, I need to binge watch because she does a lot with gel and polish uh, and design. And uh, she's a little bit wacky, which is not a problem at all. 
as we come around the end. Pull it on and So I'm going to do the stripe down the middle of one of them and um, I'll do the French tip with the glitter on the other one. I have to remember not to leave my gel polishes in front of light when I'm curing, uh, especially if lids not on. Right, I've got this one out which has had two coats of the blue but nothing else and I've wiped it and given it a quick buff. Then I'm going to get the Urban Graffiti Base Coat. And I just want to make the French at the end, put it right way around. That's it. So I'm just going to start down there and swerve up. And I'm going to start down there and swerve up. Right, that's the shape I want. There. And I'm going to press sprinkle. So we're having a crushed opal. Now I've not cured that base coat, I'm just sprinkling this straight on. Just tapping the bag over it. I'll slide this over here, I'm sure you. So I've just tapped them on and then, I, like I said, I probably said before, I probably could do with a sponge really. But uh, I've only got a brush, so that's what we're having. Um, and I'm going to pat that on. To where I actually want it to stay. Flatten all these crystals. Well, you can see the bluey green that's in there now, can't you? Because it's on that dark blue. But I don't want it to have his ends. And I don't want it up there, look. But um, I buffed it so it's not sticking to that bit. that one up a bit more. That's it. in that shape. I ain't getting any sticky outfits off in a minute. Right, I'll swap that. Can you see in there it's got the big bits of glitter in? Which is what I want. Right, uh, I've had to go to voiceover because Phil come in to make his supper so uh, that's been in the lamp and um, cured, so I'm just giving it a brush down. And um, I like the finish. I, well, I like the colourway between the green and the navy. 
So I'm quite fancying that I'd add that myself, to be honest. Um, and that just needs a top coat on top now. While we've got this lull, I will apologise when I keep going out of shot. Um, I haven't got a cameraman. <laughs> we'll get better, no doubt. I hope you're finding this video uh, relaxing. And um, I know it's a long one and it didn't show you many nails, but this is all about the learning process for me. So I'm wanting to um, document as I'm learning, really. Um, so many fantastic uh, videos out there that I'm watching and I'm learning a bit every time. And it's only by trial and error that I'll get any better with it. So, so that's had its top coat and it's gone back in the lamp. Um, this one here has got the two leaves on. So it was the same as on the burgundy nails. Um, I put a, a coat of base coat on and then applied the leaves to it and cured it. And then put another coat um, of base coat on top to secure them so it's got a sticky layer and uh, I'm just cleaning off that side of that sticky layer because I'm going to put glitter down the middle but I don't want it on the edges so I'm cleaning that off that sticky residue so that I can then sand those edges well buff slightly those edges because I don't want anything to stick to it and then uh, while I was doing this I was actually watching Joe uh, Joe's Nails Co and um, she was doing all the Christmas ones I think I've watched the same one about three times now uh, because I'm picking up so much along the way and one of the things that she's using a lot that I haven't got when she's doing it is the uh, no wipe um, matte uh, or velvet top coat which would have been fantastic to just paint down either side so I could have done um, base coat down the middle or covered the whole thing in the matte coat and then just put a base coat down the middle so because I was struggling with glitter getting stuck on everywhere else where I don't want it to be um, but that matte or velvet top coat seems fantastic for that so I'm going to have to put that onto my list so thank you for that tip Jo um, there are so many but that's just the one on this video uh, that I can uh, think to mention at the moment. So that's it. That's had its um, coat of base coat down the middle and I've cured it because this is where I want to do what Joe calls burnishing. So rather than just sprinkling the glitter on and leaving the big flakes on it, I want to take it down so that it's picking up uh, all that tiny glitter rather than the big lumps. As I get more stuff, like if I get some glitter that's got uh, just the uh, small flakes, you know, like crushed, then I'll be able to use that, but I haven't got any. So when I was watching last night, she was rubbing, rubbing it down with the finger and she said, this is called burnishing. So, um... I'm just patting it on. Look at them colours. They'd make right good, right good, sorry, that were very Yorkshire. They'd make right good um, mermaid tails, wouldn't they, those? So I just want to clear a bit of that off the uh, leaves so that they stand out a little bit. There's probably better ways of doing this and you're probably all going, oh, God, what are you doing that for? <laughs> but there you go the more I do in most things the easier it gets so it's not it's not too bad for sticking to the side there but it would have been better with that matte coat down it in fact I actually would probably like the finished look if it was matte down the sides and just glossy down the middle and um, I think when you've got your pattern down the middle it helps to make your nail look a little bit longer But I'm enjoying faffing. 
it took me about an hour to film this video and about a, an hour and a half to edit it. So, just top coating over the whole thing. And then we'll be done. Oh, sparkly, sparkly. Oh, one big lump in there, look. Never mind. So there we are, end result. Yes, I do like it in that colourway. Um, I've got some more uh, goodies coming for practice because the repertoire is getting a bit, it's a bit thin on the ground with the uh, stuff that I've got. Uh, and one of the main things, I'll be getting some nail tips in. I'm really having to dig in the bottom of the barrel to find some nail tips to practice on. Uh, coming up is going to be um, a video with I'm trying a 3D French, that is so funny. I even have to laugh at myself. Uh, and I'm also going to do one and show you what I've bought for practicing with. So if any family are watching and you've bought me stuff for Christmas, don't panic because that's stuff I want for myself, for my own nails that I put on Santa's list. So these are just for practicing. So if you've subscribed, thank you so much and I love you loads and I'll see you soon. Bye. Thank you.